Hey guys, so we've had a few questions about the challenge. What is it? Um, well, uh, by name, it's a challenge. It's gonna be hard. The reason it's gonna be hard is because we're gonna look at changing uh, typically what you're eating, right? And those lifestyle changes are extremely difficult, but the reward is gonna be there. So for this challenge, um, essentially it's not just about this 30 days. What we're looking to do is make some long-term changes that are gonna benefit your health um, for the duration of your life. And it sounds radical, I know. Um, but a lot of the information we've been given around food, around nutrition, it's so complicated, it's so complex, um, it really doesn't need to be that difficult. Now, across this challenge or this four weeks, uh, we have a staged process where first thing we're gonna do is identify foods uh, that are gonna be generally high in carbohydrates, high in sugar, that are not serving you well and not serving your health well. From there, um, the second week is we're gonna look at removing all of those foods. Um, the third week, we're gonna be making sure you're getting enough carbohydrates in your diet to fuel your life. Um, and then the fourth week, we're looking at an ongoing maintenance phase so that we can maintain this uh, for the long duration. Now, the way it's gonna work is you get a scan at the start um, of the challenge, and then following that, uh, I'll do a, a presentation, a little seminar at the start to make sure that everyone's on the same page with what they're trying to achieve. At the end of the four weeks, we'll get a review. We'll have a look at your scan. We'll see hopefully that you've lost body fat. Hopefully you've maintained muscle mass. But if you haven't, we're gonna make alterations to uh, your plan and, and what you're eating. Now I do provide a couple of meal plans, uh, a couple of uh, rotating days for both men and women on the challenge, you'll get that. But also we'll try and fine tune what you're actually eating and, and we'll make sure that you are contacted every week um, by either myself or Alex, my wife that's helping me out with this. Um, and we're gonna make sure you're on track and give you some ideas and help with fitting this kind of lifestyle, essentially a low carb lifestyle, um, into your life to make sure that you get the most benefit and the biggest bang for your buck in terms of your health. So essentially that's what the challenge is. We're really looking to um, give you the tools that you can implement this on the long term. Uh, now, is it keto? Maybe, maybe you go in and out of keto, maybe you don't. I'm not too concerned about the actual numbers. Um, I'm more concerned about probably reducing the carbohydrates a significant amount if they're quite high in your diet already and helping you with how to actually do that. All right, that's the main thing. So um, yeah, I'd love for you to sign up if you're interested at all. Um, apart from me actually telling you exactly what the meals are, answering your frequently asked questions or providing you with a manual that we're actually gonna use on the challenge, um, there's not too much more I guess I can give you. So you'll know what to eat, the types of foods, what we're removing. Uh, we'll be in touch with how it's gonna feel and we're measuring your progress from both the start um, and the end of those four weeks so that you have a guide moving through. And again, yeah, it's gonna be challenging um, in terms of removing carbohydrates from your diet if they form a large part of your diet now. Is it gonna be worth it? 100%, the change will be worth it, all right? Um, I'm gonna answer all your questions about uh, high cholesterol, about fat causing um, you know, heart attacks because you will have an increased amount of fat in your diet. Uh, we're gonna talk about um, chronic illness and what actually causes uh, chronic illness and metabolic syndrome. So things like type two diabetes, high blood pressure, um, chronically elevated levels of insulin. All of those things are gonna be addressed on the challenge and in the information night. Um, and I'll give you some insight as to why some of those original myths and concerns are illegitimate, uh, illegitimate essentially and, and not based on rigorous science. They're based on epidemiology or um, basically bogus science that was done a long time ago. So guys, if you do have any more questions, make sure you just reply to the email and ask. I'm more than happy to, to answer those before you sign up. Otherwise, jump in so that we can get some information out to you, get you booked in for your scan, and uh, get you ready to make some solid changes.